Hey, it's Andy. Today's video is about German Milwaukee. Something that's so fascinating about the mass migration to America in the 1800s is how settlements were often made to be a recreation of the immigrants' home country. I think Milwaukee is our best example of a place that was just as much a colony of Europe as it was an American city. Now the immigrants who had the biggest influence on Milwaukee were the Germans. And in this video, we're gonna see some of the best visible remnants of the German influence on Milwaukee. In the 1800s, as hundreds of thousands of Germans came to Wisconsin, many of them stayed at the most common point of entry into the state, which was the Port of Milwaukee. The immigrants settling there built up Milwaukee into a city that resembled Germany, from the language to the architecture. In 1905, someone wrote that a visit to Milwaukee was almost like a visit to one of the cities on the Rhine. One of the ways this can be seen is through Milwaukee's historical beer industry, German immigrants' brewing skills, and Wisconsin's cold climate, which was useful for brewing, helped make Milwaukee famous for its beer. By 1874, Frederick Pabst, a German immigrant, had built his Milwaukee brewery into the largest in the United States. Much of its historic core has been preserved with a bold, German-inspired castle motif. Frederick Pabst's mansion is another gem of German Milwaukee and is the only home left in what used to be a whole neighborhood of mansions. The style of the Pabst mansion is Flemish Renaissance Revival, which is a type of Romanesque architecture, which had actually gained ground in Germany in the 19th century as a kind of new German national architectural style. There were other German cultural achievements in Milwaukee. German language theater was performed at the Pabst Theater, a building which was designed in the style of German opera houses. And the Germania building, just across the bridge, was the largest German language printer in America. Milwaukee's German-American high culture earned the city the nickname the German Athens. There was even a kind of acropolis, Milwaukee's City Hall. Designed in the Renaissance Revival style, like the Pabst Mansion, you can see a direct influence from Hamburg City Hall. And thus, in a way, it was a proud embracing of Milwaukee's German heritage. It was dedicated in 1895, and for almost five years it stood as the tallest habitable building on the planet. Other more recent skyscrapers have copied the style with a modern twist, giving a coherence to the skyline. There are also a number of beautiful churches built by the early German communities, which, like most old churches, offer a glimpse of historical European culture and architecture.
During World War I, German culture came under persecution, and Milwaukee began to feel a lot more like a typical U.S. city. However, as this video at least began to show, the huge historic German presence in Milwaukee is still visible. Thanks for watching the video, and hit that like button if you enjoyed it.